Bam! I'm back for another 10 minute episode of the Builder 105. Done the cheap. Try it without the drama, baby. <laughs> okay, you wax me, watch me wax it on. Might as well watch me wax it off. You guys want some videos? I'll give you some stinking videos. That's my Scarface imitation. Wax it on and then we wax it off. There's nothing will stick to this plug, even if I get it. Slop some epoxy over here. And some runs down the front. Anywhere you got it waxed, that stuff will not stick. Ain't that amazing? That's what we want. Y'all know me, I'm sloppy, man. I slop that resin everywhere. But I'm just going to go ahead and lay me up a big old panel. See, I got my alternate aileron servo door right there. But I think this one's going to work just fine. It's fine as wine. Then where I scored will show up in my epoxy. And that's where I'll cut it out, but I ain't gonna cut it out off. I'm just gonna make a big mold, big enough for my all, from there to there. And then I can go in there and uh, put my uh, fiberglass in there, put me some carbon, put my foam in there, and throw it in that vacuum bag. Bam. Vacuum or down, let her set up. I'll get like a super hard, perfect shape gear door. Bam! Just amazing, eh? How simple this stuff really is. You just gotta take the time and get out there and do it. You know? It's like, and just like I said with them ailerons and flaps, you know? It's not that, uh, I'm building this to go compete at the scale masters. That's that's not my intention. I've never built a plane that go there. I don't know. It'd be nice to see one there. It'd be nice to see me do one there. But you know, I always got next winter. You know, I got after I get this dude in the air. There's just so many possibilities from there. My intention is. To get a 105 Thunder Chief flying. And believe me, when this bad boy's in the air doing about a buck 80, ain't no one gonna say, man, that thing ain't scale enough. You know what I mean? It's just. I consider it scale, it's just not museum quality scale. It may not be super expert scale, but it's gonna be a bad old jet. Every time you use your mold, you got to wax it like this. Every time you clean them up, 
wax them. Get them to be shining again. It's like brand new. I need to get my wing molds cleaned back up. Decide whether or not I'm going to keep that other wing. I don't. I'm not sure about that yet. I might just use it on the prototype. It's good wing. It's just a couple things I don't like about it. And I know how to fix it. Well, they'll just get better from here. You know my next set of wings, people? It's going to be freaking awesome. They will be flawless coming out of the mold. I'm going to vacuum everything down at once. And uh, I think they'll come out a lot better. Only thing I really didn't like is I had a few uh, air bubbles in that leading edge. You know, that I think it was caused by that pill ply because it's actually stiffer than the, the cloth, you know, and it just don't like to go in them round edges. When you put a vacuum under it, bam, it's done deal. But I think our pill ply, super heavy pill ply, in, I think that's what pulled it off that edge because I was watching when we was laying them up and I trimmed it super close and it was in there. It was all good. Then we put that pill ply on there and then we couldn't really see it that well. You know, and it kind of pulled it. The fiberglass stuck to the pill ply and it kind of came away from the primer a little bit in some places. But I think bagging will take care of that. And I'll make some videos and, you know, because one thing you got to watch when you're vacuum bagging stuff like that is if, you're, is if your plastic kind of gets in a bind somehow, it'll kind of want to pull it away. But I found by, if you take the vacuum bag off or take your hose off, get it kind of situated, pull some plastic up and then put it back on so you, and, you know, watch it. And, uh do that three or four times and then get your plastic situated just perfect and uh, suck her down, let her set up. We'll go over that some more when we're sucking down some more parts. I have a feeling we're going to have to make some more of these Thunder Chiefs. Not because we crash them. Because <laughs> they fly good. Okay. Now we're ready for some part off. What else do I gotta lay up? Oh, I gotta make a canopy, but I gotta prime them. Uh, dang it, what else? Oh, and flaps and ailerons, I gotta prime them too. Okay, we'll get on that stuff while we're waiting for uh, the resin to set up on this. How's that sound? about a year or so it'll start corroding it loading them inside but these air guns you can get them on sale for 14 bucks man you know use it clogged up throw it away go get another one you know when it gets clogged up to where you can't clean it again there's something in that aluminum or in that part all that corrodes aluminum and it takes a while but uh shoot you know if I get a year out of that gun uh, when it, I can't get it to spray good no more, I'm chucking the trash and give me another one. Well, it looks like we're running out of time. I'm going to get the part all sprayed on these. And I, I don't want to make a video because we're just going to be watching it dry. So, and uh, when I get ready for some resin, I'll be back. Have a good day.